Yo, says the tip. No, you, Dino, you can stick your IP address conflict right up your, your, <clears throat> your system event log. What's up? What's up, everybody? I wasn't gonna tell the Windows to sodomize itself. I promise. What's up? What's up? Um, today we're gonna go over some of the new monsters. Uh, these skills, these skills are not confirmed, necessarily. Uh, they are just some people in Korea found some information on the skills in the data for the game. So they posted it. And then it was translated to English. So they didn't call it English. I just wanted to call it English. But yeah, they, they, they changed it. They, yes, it was translated to English. But, uh, but yeah, so let's, let's go over the, um, the monsters. Let's go over their names. And, um, uh, man, I wanted this to be Captain Sharky. Captain Sharkles. Damn. Damn. Okay, so I guess it's the Charging Shark. Uh, we have the Wave Pierce, which is the first skill. Attacks an enemy and increases its own crit rate for one turn. Okay, similar to the, uh, Sylphs. Sylph first skill. Except for... Uh, the Tyrant, which is OP. OP. And then we have the Gang Up, which is... I can't read what I put there, so you guys can't either. Um, gang Up attacks... Attacks an enemy target and decreases the attack speed for two turns with an 80% chance. Okay. Uh, we have the Blood Scent passive. If you land a critical hit, inflict continuous damage for two turns and recover the same amount of the inflicted damage's HP. This would be cool for um, for violent runes. Whoever has the blood scent. Who has the blood scent? Uh, the water. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Violent blade might be good for the water one. I could already see that. Uh, see so ya. Yeah. What else? And I could see that for dragons B10. Uh. Oh, weaken. Attacks all enemies and decrease the attack and defense for two turns with a 50% chance. Nice. So it's like an AoE of Bernard's second skill. Very nice. Now who has the weaken? Weaken is the fire one. The fur. The fur one. And then we have... What else? Wave slash. Uh, attacks an enemy... Target three times decreases the defense for two turns with a 75% chance per hit. Um, so one target three times, I guess, and decreases defense for two turns. Kind of like, um, kind of like the fire Ifrit. Ifrit. Uh, so basically, you can potentially def uh, decrease the defense and then attack again on top of that weakened defense. And then again on top of that as well. Is that what I'm seeing? Yes. Interesting. Okay, so that could be good as a straight up attacker. Just damage, damage, damage. So that's the, um, where's that, the wave slash? I don't see wave slash. Oh, yeah, that's fire as well. That's fire as well. So there's a lot of weakened defense on the fire. Then we have Spiritualism. Increase your own attack and speed for three turns. Instantly recovers a turn when used. That's kind of like uh, the Chimera skills. Like they do something and then they recover their turn. Um, so they can do something else. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and that is the Spiritualism is the wind. The wind one. Okay. We have the Predator passive. If you kill an enemy, recover 30% of total HP and 50% of the attack gauge. So, I'm seeing uh, crit damage on that. Maybe Rage Blade on that. Automatic effect. So we're looking at that. The light one has that, the Predator passive. And then we have the Strangle All My Dogs. Uh, that's the dark one, has the Strangle All My... No, I'm just kidding. Uh, bite and Swallow. <laughs> <laughs> gets stronger as the enemy gets weaker. If an enemy is below 30% HP, increasing the damage by 100%. Ooh, okay. So that's the dark one that has that. The bite and swallow. Interesting. Of course, you do need the enemy to be below 30% HP. 
but basically they're they're dead at that point. So, hmm, hmm. So they have the weakened too. the The dark one has the weakened as well. Uh, the light one has the gang up and the predator. So the light one has the uh, decreased attack speed and uh, decreases attack and speed for two turns. Um, for one target, and then the predator, which we went over the passive. Okay, so that's the that's the charging shark. Cool beans. Cool beans. Don't worry, we have it's gonna be it's gonna take forever. We have a million more of these to go. Uh, mermaid. Okay, mermaid mana bubble first skill. Uh, remove a beneficial effect from an enemy. Damage is proportionate with your max HP. Okay, so that's similar to the uh, serpents. I love first uh, first skills. First skill skills. I love the first skills that remove beneficial effects. I'm finding that I want more monsters that do that. Uh, we have Give Life, recover all allies HP and attack age by 30%. Uh, if used on a, so like, kind of like uh, Bella's third skill, if used on a dead, dead ally, revive the ally with 30%, but the cooldown, uh, the cooldown is increased by three turns. Wow, okay. So, like Bella, but stronger. Who has Give Life? Uh, that's going to be the Water and the Fire ones have Give Life. And the Dark one are going to have Give Life. Interesting. That's that's a pretty cool skill, I think. I think that's a very versatile skill. Attack bar, uh, increase, HP increase, and revive. I, I already like the mermaids. I really do. Um, I already like them. We have the air shield. Remove all harmful effects from all allies and create a shield that absorbs all inflicted damage for three turns. Shield amounts of proportion to your level. Oh, wow. Okay, so air shield is the wind and the light one. That's what they have. I like mermaids already. I will say that. I like mermaids. Wow. I like them. I like them. Uh, Siren Song. Attack all enemies and puts them to sleep for one turn. Uh, AoE sleep. Don't want to use this with an AoE attack because then they'll just be awoken again. Awoken zizzed. This skill receives 50% additional accuracy. So you gotta watch who you, who you, um, because it's sleep, you gotta watch who you, uh, who you bring on your team. You don't want to sleep and then have another AoE attacker. Or maybe you do if you can put them to sleep and then and then they all wake up and then the AoE attacker attacks after that. I don't know. We'll see. You, you have to combo that right though. Uh, then we have, what else? And the siren, who has Siren Song? Water. Water Mermaid, okay. Next one, Burnt Heart. Attacks an enemy target, stuns them with an 80% chance, and blocks all skills currently under cooldown for two turns. Attacks an enemy target, stuns them 80% chance, okay. Blocks all skills currently under cooldowns for two turns. Interesting. Who's got that one? The fire one has that one. Okay. Uh, Hurtful Breeze. Attacks an enemy target three times and either inflicts defense break, heal block, or blocks from using any skills under cooldown for two turns with 50% chance per hit. Hurtful Breeze. Okay. Kind of like Orion's randomness. Which I've seen to be quite a pain sometimes because you don't know what's going to happen. It's fun. It's fun, but it's also a pain. Oh my goodness. So Hurtful Breeze, who has that one? Uh, that's going to be the Wind one. Okay. Then Bright Mist, passive. When an ally is attacked, increase the enemy's chance to land a glancing hit by 20%. Also, heals the ally with the lowest HP by 10%. Bright Mist is on Light Mermaid, who also has the, a uh, the air shield. Man, I like these mermaids, dude. I like these mermaids. We have the calm rest. Recovers, takes the, um, takes all your allies to a sauna. Recovers all allies HP by 15%. Decreases the chance of being attacked with a critical hit and grants immunity for two turns. Nice. Damn, and that's for the dark mermaid. Oh my god. Oh my god, I love these mermaids. I want a mermaid. I want a mermaid. On the reels. On the realsies. Okay. Who's next? Pirate Captain. Man. 
Can't be like Jack Sparrow Jr.? No? Fine. Okay. So, Pirate Captain, uh, Backspin Slash is first skill. Uh, attacks enemy... Yeah, attacks an enemy and lowers defense for one turn with a 75% chance. Okay. Like the Inugamis. So, we're gonna see people enjoy that. Like, like crazy. Uh, Pirates Attack, attack and absorbs 30% of the enemy's attack age. Similar to, um, similar to the ninja skill. Okay, so who has pirate attack? Pirate attack ha is water, wind, and light. We have artillery fire, three hit random attack with a 75% chance to stun on each hit. Okay, I, that could potentially get pretty lucky. It could be like, uh, almost an AoE stun. Especially in Guild Wars, it's even better. In Guild Wars, it's even better. So who has artillery fire? Artillery fire is going to be the fire and the dark one. Time to plunder. Two turn attack buff for all allies. Uh, weaken all enemies units defenses for two turns with a 75% chance. <laughs> oh, that's dangerous. That's dangerous. Time to plunder. Who's got that one? That's the water one. That's dangerous. Oh my god. Two turn attack buff on all allies. Weaken all enemy units defenses for two turns 75% chance. Oh my god. That's like... Hey, guess what? You guys are dead, and we're gonna beat the living hell out of you. That is scary. That is scary. Increase attack and weaken defense on the enemy team. That's scary. Headshot. Uh, okay. Uh, who has time to plunder? Uh, the water. Yeah, I said that. <clears throat> Headshot. Immediately explodes any bomb currently on an enemy target. Okay. Oh, uh, that's gonna be for the fire one. Hmm. I don't like that one as much as I like Time to Plunder. Time to Plunder is deadly. Headshot is like, you need a, first off, you need a bomb team. Second off, that just explodes a bomb on one target. It's not like Ciara. Is that Ciara that does that? That does the um, explode all bombs and continuous damage effects uh, on all targets. So it's not like that, it's just one target. It's kind of kind of crappy, I think. Uh, that's just my opinion, though. Uh, we have shoot and slash. Who's got the headshot? Fire. Yeah, I already said that, right? Shoot and slash combos a backspin slash and then a pirate's attack to an enemy target. Okay, so lower defense and then attack and absorb 30% of the enemy's attack gauge. Okay. It's still, it's still no time to plunder. Time to plunder is my favorite so far of those. That's crazy. I like, I like time to, that's dangerous, that's dangerous. Um, then we have disarmament, uh, shoot and slash is for wind. Disarmament is attacks an enemy and decreases attacks and defense and blocks any beneficial effects for two turns with a 75% chance, yeah. This I was looking for more in, uh, in new monsters, blocks any beneficial effects for two turns. I think we're going to see some more of that uh, coming up in the future with, with new future monsters in Summoner's War. Because uh, there's there's cleanses, uh, uh, there's like removal of beneficial effects, but there's no blocking beneficial effects. I think that's going to be the new thing, and that's really going to change the meta in an annoying way. So, yes. Uh, that's, I like that. Decrease attack and defense block beneficial effect uh, for two turns. So who's got that one? Who's got disarmament? The light one. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, rapid advance, increase all allies' attack age by 50% and decrease all skill cooldowns by 1. That's that's like, um... Man, that's like a combo Vertiheal and Jameer. That's, that's interesting. So... That could potentially be a really cool support skill. Uh, and that's gonna be rapid advance, that's gonna be for the dark one. The dark, the dark Barret Gipton. I think the water one is gonna be deadly, actually. I think the I think the light and the dark ones are good too. What's the what is a and yeah, th th those are the ones that I like the best. The water one is gonna be deadly. The light and dark ones are gonna be cool. I'd like to see uh, some more. I'd like to see some more on those. And then we have the Seaman King. Oh, that's a never mind. That's a Sea King. Okay. <laughs> Arresting first skill, arresting might. Uh, attacks an enemy and give one harmful effect to the target. Random harmful effect? 
I assume that's random. Okay, that would, that would be interesting. <laughs> that would be interesting. Uh, we have Wave Sweep. Attacks all enemies and blocks them from using any skills currently under cooldown for one turn. Okay. So any skills that are going to come off cooldown, um, the next turn they cannot use them anymore. Nice, nice against Jasoon. <laughs> um, but it's an AoE. Okay. And that is Wave Sweep is on Water, Wind, and Light. You're going to have to really, you're going to have to like, that's going to be one of those things you're going to have to learn how to tempo correctly. So it's, it's not, uh, it's not as easy as just, as just, this is a skill, use it. You're going to have to, yeah, you're going to have to tempo that. You're going to have to tempo that. That's going to be good. You have to tempo right. Okay. Uh, what's next? Spear of Destruction. Attack an enemy target twice, removing all beneficial effects and putting all skills in cool Ooh, in cooldown. Removing all beneficial effects and putting all skills in cooldown. That's cool. Spear of Destruction. Who's got that? The Fire One, the Fire Seeking, and the Dark Seeking. Okay. Those are pretty cool. Then we have Maelstrom. Attack all enemies, decreasing their attack age by 75%, kind of like Wuchi. Uh, and their attack speed, decrease their attack speed for two turns. Okay, so that's, that's kind of like Wuchi or like the, um, the Fire uh, Griffin. Kind of like the Fire Griffin. And that is Maelstrom, who has that? Water Seeking. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um... That would be that would be really good for Dragons V10 actually. Uh, then we have the Fire Sea King. Oh no, we no. That's not that's not what we're doing. We're not doing it that way. Um, Rain of Stone attacks all enemies multiple times with a twenty five percent chance to stun for one turn uh, for one turn per hit. All enemies multiple times twenty five. Okay, so AOE stun. Okay, so that's like uh, that's like Cult Girl. Slash Tyrant kind of thing. Rain of Stone for the Fire One. I know you guys are so. You guys are like, why don't you look at us? Why don't you look at us when you talk to us? Because I'm reading shit. Um, Mega Tsunami attacks all enemies, decreasing their attack age by 25%, removing beneficial effects on all enemies. Cool. I would not mind getting one of these. I want. And who's Mega Tsunami on? Wind Seeking. Okay, so he's got the Wave Sweep 2, which blocks him from using skills under cooldown. That's interesting. That, I, 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 I could see putting that into my, uh, into my lineup. That would take down a lot of pain in the ass arena teams. I will say that. That's cool. The wind, uh, wind Seeking. And then we have Sanctuary. Remove all harmful effects from all allies and grant invincibility and immunity for one turn. So... Like, like Vela Jewel and Chloe had butt sex and made a baby. It's gonna be the, uh, and it's gonna be the Light Sea King. So the Light Sea King is gonna be the, the butt sex baby of, who also has the wave sweep, by the way, like the wind one does. And, uh, yeah. So Sanctuary, Sanctuary, butt sex version of Chloe and Vela Jewel. Nice. <laughs> and then the, King of Ruin passive increased inflicted damage by 50% to targets under harmful effects. Also increase inflict this is one of those combo things that you got to use combos for and there's all kinds of immunity in arena. Uh, but it is extra damage to targets under harmful effects, which is kind of like the Fire uh, Polar Queen, Fire Polar Queen and Argon the Wind Vampire and stuff like that and Crow. The Dark and Agami. Also increase inflicted damage to fit by 50% to targets without any beneficial effects. What? Increase inflicted damage by 50% to targets under harmful effects. Also increase inflicted damage by 50% to targets without any beneficial effects. So if you got a whole bunch of red on their side of the screen, just a ton of damage. What else is his, what is his other thing? Spear of Destruction. Nice. Okay, so I like the dark one too. Oh man. He's a, he's a good single target attacker. 
That's crazy. The dark one's gonna be a, a solid single target attacker. Man. Man, oh man. And then we're back. We're back to the charging shark, right? Okay, so charging shark. Sea King, what did I say before? I think I might have. I, I might have said Sea King. I don't know. And I probably said Mermaid Princess or something like that. Uh, okay. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Anyway, I don't know. Uh, oh my god, it's finally over. 20 minutes later. Um, like I said, these are just. This has been leaked. So I don't know if this is actually... It seems like the skills are valid. It sounds pretty valid. It sounds pretty legit. Um, but like I said, I can't verify it with com to us, So I don't know. But uh, but yeah. Keep that keep that in the back of your noggins. That uh, some of these guys... Some of these, like the mermaids, I definitely want the mermaids. Some of these sea kings and stuff like that seem pretty cool. And some of the, uh, the pirate captains seem pretty cool too. So, damn. Damn. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys got some got some fun. I, I definitely got a, a summoner's a summoner's war new monster boner <laughs> out of this. So uh, so I hope you guys did too. I hope you guys got that new monster boner out of this. Uh, or if you're a girl, like that new monster chick boner thing. I don't know. Um, out of this video. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, so yeah. So yeah. As always, like comment subscribe it's the end of the video i'll miss you too i know i promise i'll be back soon i promise until unless I, unless i die then i won't be back soon um but yeah hopefully that doesn't happen but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this and i will see you guys in the next time i miss you so much i miss you so much i'll see you guys in the next video